everyone, welcome to driverstory.com. Today we're going to be unboxing the Samsung SpinPoint hard drive. It's a 2 terabyte hard drive, um, 5400 RPM with a 32 megabyte cache. We got this from Newegg. Um, we got this with a promo code and it was on sale, so the entire hard drive with shipping was only about 70 bucks. And the shipping was fantastic. We ordered it around 5 p.m. on a Monday and I believe we got it four o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday, so it was less than 24 hours. This is a SATA three gigabyte a second drive. We're going to be popping this into the tower shortly and powering it up, and making sure everything works correctly, and then we're going to do some hard drive utility tests on it to see what the actual transfer speeds are and how it compares to other hard drives. Okay, here we're just setting up the BIOS, making sure it's in the right spot so that we can boot Windows properly and then we're going to initialize and format the hard drive. A lot of the times when you're adding a storage drive to Windows and you already have a hard drive with the actual operating system on it, it may not automatically detect the hard drive, so we're going to have to do it by hand. And if you open up uh, your My Computer section, you can see whether or not the drive is actually in there, and in this case it is not. So what we're going to do is go into um, the control panel and the administrative tools section and we're going to go to the computer management section. Now there's all kinds of options in here. We're just going to go down to disk management. That's one of the submenus and it brings up a little wizard and we're going to skip the wizard because we want to do it manually so everyone knows how to. And down here you can see all the drives and you can see that um, the primary disk, the uh, two terabyte drive, is showing up but it's unallocated. What we do now is we're going to right click on the side where it says disk zero and do initialize disk. It's going to pop up and we're going to go to select the disk and hit initialize. Now it's initialized but it's still not going to show up in Windows because we haven't formatted it. So you can see that it's still not showing up. We're going to go back and we're going to click on the bar graph area I guess you could call it that says unallocated space and we're going to right click on that go to new partition and that will bring up a wizard and it's really easy from here you hit next um, we're just going to select primary partition because we want one big um, file partition for storing a lot of files we're going to set the size as the maximum available so it uses all the space now we're just going to select the drive letter and the next screen we can select a name for the drive so we're just going to type in two terabyte storage drive and then from here on we're good to go it'll be initialized formatted and ready for use so now we can hit next and after a moment depending on the size of the drive um, it'll be done so now it's formatted we can open up the My Computer area and check to see that it is in fact showing up. And yep, there it is. We can add some files to the drive and go to the hard drive utility. Now here we just ran a scan on the drive and it shows the performance. Here you can see the graph. The minimum transfer speed was 60 megabytes a second, maximum 143. Average was around 107. There you can see the access time. Burst speed was 164 and the CPU usage was 5.4%. So overall, the performance is um, a little bit better than older generation 7200 RPM hard drives because the hard drive platter capacity is much higher, so you can get more data swept per RPM. And um, don't forget to check out the website. We got Newegg promo codes up there, so you can get some pretty good discounts and don't forget to check out the channel and hit subscribe. We've got tons of cool new stuff coming up soon, so um, definitely check back soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.